Hello and welcome back. We are now going to try a crack me and you can download this from the resource session. I will provide this file for you. So this crack me is uh, Gijen 2 by Matador. So after you have downloaded it, you can just double click and see what it does. So when you when you run it, it will open uh, Windows program which looks like this and here you're supposed to input a name and here you input any serial number and you click check it will give you a bad message saying no 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 try again so we are now going to crack this program to make it show a good message a good message is a congratulatory message. So let's get started. First thing we do is we attach Cheat Engine to the program. So let's open up Cheat Engine. And then we attach it. This is the program. Click open. Now we want to find out what address stores this value. 2222 two, two, two. so we can do a string search go here select string search for text and key in here 2222 two, 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 first scan and we see there are two results <coughs> we can add both to the cheat table so, <coughs> so we are now going to investigate each one of these to see the instruction that assesses these addresses so let's start with the first one so over here we right click and then we select find out what accesses this address this will attach the debugger yes now we just go ahead and click on this and we get a bad message no 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 try again and then we find three instructions that accesses this address so now we are going to investigate each one of it to see which one of it is the responsible for showing the, the bad message. So we just click OK and click check again to confirm that there are no more other instructions. See, so on the left column, the, the number of counts which shows how many times the instruction assesses the address. Click again, you see it will increase from 2 to 2. 228, click check, it goes to 312. So these are three instructions, there are no more. So now we follow the first instruction, we can stop it first. Then we click on the first one and then we are going to see it in the disassembler. So click the first one first, show disassembler, and this is the one. So now we are going to scroll up and down a little bit to see if there are any interesting comments so we can see there are no comments we get 8, negative 2 and so on but we are not looking, we are not finding this string we are looking for this string no 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 try again and we don't see it there so if we don't see it there we can go to the next one try the second one show in this assembler and we scroll up and down a little bit we also don't see any strings okay so we close this one now try the third one, click show in this assembler and we scroll a little bit up and scroll a bit down and here we are, right, yes, good job, scroll further down, wrong, no, 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 try again and this is the bad message coming from here and if you were to analyze it a bit, there will be a jump here and this is a jump which, which can decide whether to show the good message or whether to show the bad message if the jump didn't jump then it will go and straight and show the good message but in this case it, it jumped how do we know because it shows the bad message over here so in order for it not to show the bad message we don't want it to jump we want it to go straight and show the good message Right. We can confirm this by doing a uh, debugging, put a breakpoint. 
let's close that first we can put a breakpoint here we can select this right click and then here set breakpoint not break and trace okay breakpoint so click set this one set breakpoint and you will see there is a if you click on top you can see this is in red color now we have a breakpoint here if we click check it will hit our breakpoint see that and once it hits our breakpoint we have all these controls enabled for us this is the stepping controls we can step over line by line to see what it does so let's click step over step in 2 is to enter the call when we come to a call and we want to enter it then we step into step over means just follow the instruction without going into the calls so now in this case here we want to step over so what happened when we step over click let's try and see the shortcut is f8 you either press f8 or you just click on this you see if you hover your mouse here you can see the shortcut f8 so we are going to click on this now and then notice he jumped to here right he jumped to here it avoided the good message and we continue to step now it is going to do all the bad messages so let's step over again step over continue to step over and it is pushing all this to the stack so the stack is a location in memory that stores some data and normally you use it to store data that is going to be executed by a function in this case the function is message box so it is preparing all this for the message box so let's step over step over so at this point message box is going to show it is going to make use of the data here that has been pushed to the stack so now if we step over again the message box should appear so let's step over all right and you can see down here <coughs> the message box has shown no 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 try again okay so now we can just run all over all. just click run f9 is a shortcut and it will just run so now we know that in, if we don't want it to show the bad message we have to modify the jump and don't make it jump we want it to go straight so the easiest way to do that is to know of this so we can know of this by putting right click and then replace your code that does nothing click on this and then click ok and now you see that it has been no up so now if we were to uh, the breakpoint is still there so now we click check it hits the breakpoint step over now it's here step over again step over and this time there's no jump so it's going straight it's going to do the good message step over again step over step over and now it's going to show the message box which has got the good message so let's step over and then now you look at the bottom here click on this yes good job good job so we have managed to uh, hack this program to make it show a good message but we we can't we are not going to patch it but we are going to write a code injection so let's uh, stop this now we're going to inject code in order to um, make this thing show the good message so first we toggle a breakpoint we can select this breakpoint and click toggle to remove it or so we click toggle and the breakpoint goes away another way to remove breakpoint is to go here let's say i put back the breakpoint now and then if i go to view breakpoint list i can from here right click and delete the breakpoint and close so the breakpoint is gone so now we want to put back the original code you just right click this and restore with original code so we get back on this one so the next step we're going to do is to write a code injection to inject code that will replace this with no op so to do that we first select this line and then go to tools and then go down to auto assemble click auto assemble and here 
we select template and then here we select AOV injection and then here click OK so this is the address we are going to inject click OK click OK again and now we can start writing our injection so the code that we want to modify is this we don't want it to jump so the easiest way to do it is just to comment it out by putting two forward slashes that's all now we can file save not, not save sorry file assign to currency table all right so once you do that you can close this or you can leave it open it's up to you and then now we can go back and analyze the the injection so this is our script right we can double click this and give it a name oh, no so that's okay now we have this script here so now to activate the script we just click on it now before activating the script let us check one more time what happens okay let's stop let's remove all the breakpoints Okay, there are no red points. Alright, so presently is okay. So we run, make sure you remove the debugger, and then now we click check. Alright, it's showing the bad message, yes. So now we are going to enable the script and see what happens to this. See that? When we enable the script, it injects this code. This is the label and this is the code that was injected so now it's going to jump to the code cave and execute our our injected code so <coughs> click ok and click check again and see yes good job alright so now if we wanted to trace we can put a jump here right click and or we just toggle click toggle breakpoint and you got a breakpoint there so when you click check now we hit our breakpoint so when you step over it jumps to our code cave and inject uh, this uh, this thing here push zero and then uh, right and then jump back so this one is coming from the script here if you expand the script you can see push 30 is here and then push this one is here and then jump return means go back to the position after uh, at the address of the injected code of the injected uh, jump so you can step over now step over and then from here we jump back to the original location click step over and it goes back here see that this is the place we jump and now we are back after the running the injected code and then it's going to now push this continue the rest of it and then now it's showing a good message see that? alright so now we can remove the breakpoint go to view breakpoint and just uh, select and delete and delete and now we can see what happens if we disable the script so we disable the script <coughs> when we disable the script uh, it restores back the original code so now if you were to click ok check it goes back to the default showing the bad message right so this is how we can uh, crack this uh, this uh, program Right. so the principle here is first you find out what is the address that stores this value and then find out what where is the code that assesses the address once you find that you can examine analyze to see which code is is responsible for showing the good uh, showing the bad message and from there we can reverse it accordingly the next thing you should do is to save the cheat table so to save the cheat table, just go to file here and then click save. Then select a location 
and I will select a location in my some folder to save it. Maybe I save it here. And then the name is Kijanmi City. Alright, so now I've saved the table. And I can close this. If in future I want to hack the same program, I first will launch this program. And if I want to hack this again, I don't have to start from beginning. I can reopen my JTable. So just load your JTable, click File Load and load the cheat table that you have saved cheat table ends with the .ct extension click on open, select it first click ok and now you have your cheat table so your script is still there now you can attach to the target program click this and select the target program, click open click yes here alright <clears throat> so now if you want to use it first you enter some string click check and you notice it's showing the bad message now we are going to activate the script click on this to activate the script and click check again and we have hacked the program so this is the use of saving your cheat table you can reuse it now notice this, uh, some of these addresses like this one showing a question mark so this happened because the address is dynamic that's why it turns to a question mark most programs are using dynamic addresses so we cannot rely on these addresses to be the same when you restart the program but this one because it's a script it's reliable it uses AOB scan it scans for this array of bytes and when it finds it it injects the code at that location so even though the memory is dynamic it doesn't matter as I've explained before in the previous lessons that is the power of AOB scans so this is uh, how you can use so the cheat table to save it and open it again so the one which is useless we can just delete it we don't need this so <coughs> this one also you can delete all, all we need is just the script okay so let's save it one more time <coughs> alright this one so in future we are going to make use of this cheat table and I will show you how to create trainers so what are trainers? trainers are customized program that will patch the memory of a running process so if you create a trainer for this you can always use the trainer to patch its memory and you can send your trainer and share it with anybody you like they do not need to have cheat engine installed so a trainer is actually a process patcher or a memory patcher I will show you how to do that in future lessons but for now just save your cheat table whenever you are finished hacking a program so that's all for this lesson uh, thank you very much for watching I will see you in the next one